Good morning, everybody. Tracy Brown here. Um, yeah, I'm too tired to go shut that door, <laughs> so I'm not going to do it this morning. Um, but you know, my, I, actually, I don't know if you guys have seen my, my office here. Look at all that fun stuff. Like the, co the floor literally is covered with like, um, gosh, stuff for my somatic course coming up. I mean, on this side, it's the same way. It's just piles and piles of like notes and research and it's going. It's, I'm super excited, but I'm tired. <laughs> so I already got my coffee going today um, and I'm late on this video because I slept and I didn't sleep in, but I laid in bed and read a little, little, a little bit more because grandma, lovely, um, some, some days of the week, uh, takes little one to school. So I got a little break this morning and yay, I'm celebrating. So I milk all the good moments. I mean, not that my kid's not awesome, but it's nice to have a morning where I can just have a slower pace. And I personally really need that at least once or twice a week. So I don't know about you, but anyway, and if I can get it, I take it and I don't always get it, but when I do, I'm going to like, like I said, milk it. I tell my clients, and this is something you can, when they have something good happen, this is just a side little note, less than a note, is when they have something good happen, they literally have them sit with the good and you know, locate that in their body or just say, you know, like, I just want to sit with you in a second in this goodness or this thing that they just accomplished or whatever they're happy about. And they might want to kind of move on, but I'm like, I just want to sit here with you in, in the moment with this because it's like, and it's really important to one, Con, you know, really ground that in as a resource, and then two, um, like I said, milk it, milk it for all it's got, and how good can you stand things? Because sometimes our clients get to the place where you know, life is feeling pretty good, and they have a pattern of like not being very good at being happy or joyful or um, taking things in. So it's really important to help them practice like how good can you stand things. So. That's really important. So anyway, total segue, side note, sorry about the ramble, but that's kind of how my brain feels today. But we are going to move on. We've been talking a little bit about, you know, Hayes' work and introducing that and um, how we navigate that and educate. And I mentioned yesterday in one of the posts, a uh, reply to, uh, I think it was uh, Michelle's post around, you know, introducing Hayes is, or, you know, health at every size it's kind of a, for me, I feel like it's kind of an art because our clients are probably in the old paradigm, especially some clients are going to be really rigidly in it and they're going to have a hard time. They're going to, some people feel like it's, well, it's a he said, she said, and you don't, I don't want to get into that, that sticky place. What we always want to do is continue to help people see where the dominant paradigm is or isn't working in their life and how so, and what's the cost. And then you provide health at every size where it's like, it's kind of a low risk. If you think about it, it's a very low risk, um, possible solution for them. They're like, you can stop doing risky behaviors like weight cycling. Cause we know those are risky to our health. Instead, allow our bodies to have some weight stability to, to heal. If there's any inflammation, if there's any like just chronic things, so you can get some real feedback about what your body needs versus um, last night I worked with a new client and, um, he, again, this is a totally counseling skill thing. Um, but it's really important to kind of, if we can kind of match people where they're at or they're at, he's a, he's a professional athlete and, um, he was looking for a plan. And I'm like, you're a plan hopper. I ain't giving you another plan. I was essentially like, you know, I talked to him like you would an athlete and I, I was one. So I think that helps. Um, to know that mentality, so that's helpful. But um, sorry, guys, all these things are popping in my face. Um, but there's a level of like that was the connector right there. He was really like he came to me, kind of seeing me as the expert, kind of like I could tell, just kind of watching and waiting to see what I was gonna say. And um, after I had said that, he like totally just like whew, his whole grounded in. I feel seen. I feel like she knows who I am, or like well, who, yeah, she could see what I've been through and who I am in a language that felt really familiar and not like elevated and all that. And he was all over it. He started talking about his emotional eating and was on board with intuitive eating. He wanted like some kind of high performance nutrition plan when he came to me. And there's some stuff that he does need to work on for his sport, which we're going to do around, um, fluids and carbs and stuff like that. But for the most part, this guy needs to 
have a relationship with his food and his body again. And so we will, I sprinkled in a little health at every size, but really just talked about, you know, stability. Um, so anyway, that is maybe one buy-in. That's one example of a buy-in people might have. And I didn't say health at every size because again, this person, this athlete is in a bigger body and he feels like he has to get a lot smaller to win the big thing. That may be true. That may not be true. I don't know. Um, but what I know is that he's already like at a super high skill level. His weight hasn't held him back. So I think it's more some of the lifestyle things that might help him. But we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. If and Remind me to, to re, like ask me again in a month or two how he's doing. Um, but anyway, um, that was my sprinkling of health at every size. And I didn't use the language. I didn't use the words. I just talked about like, you know, what hasn't already worked. And here is something that might. And in, in, in a way that he could understand it, which I called plan hopping. Whatever reason, that's the thing I blurted out. And he was like, whoa, yeah, I do do that. And that's insanity. What am I doing? So that's, you know, I didn't have to use any intuitive eating, health exercise language for him to help him. Like, I got it. Let's go. So, and at first he was skeptical. So that was the bridge. Anyway, I guess this goes to my point today about Wisdom Wednesday, which is let's provide solutions for a client, what our clients can do in their own language. And not from the way they're used to from a diet culture perspective because our clients are used to being told here's your plan follow the rules do the thing you should accomplish xyz in x amount of months no we are providing them a bottom-up approach to you know if their language is accomplishing goals then you use their language i mean you can soften it a little bit because of whoever you are but some people need to hear the words like accountability and goals and those kind of things because that's what they're used to. And if you are too much over on this other side, um, it's not speaking their language yet. So we need to have a, a bridge and a common ground to bring them at ease that they're going to get what they need, what they feel like they need, or what they want. And you're actually kind of giving them what they need, to be honest. So really try to think about when... We're talking about, um, let's say, interventions with food or intuitive eating or movement or whatever. You'll know, think about it from a place of educating them on how that paradigm doesn't quite hasn't worked for them. Show them where and and how come, without a lot of technical jargon, unless they really want technical jargon. And I have a client that loves that stuff, so that's the way I approach things with her. On the other end, it's you know, point out to where, you know, they did a really good job of whatever it is they tried to do. And now it's not what we approach it from a place of like getting feedback and doing it and, and building up their own wisdom. So they're not so vulnerable in the future to plan hopping. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, that client was super fun last night and I didn't know where I was going to go. And I didn't know if he was going to feel like he got his money's worth or not because... I was, I laid it out there. This is the kind of dietitian I am. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he knew <laughs> after we got going. Um, so when you're in those situations and you know that like intuitive being health exercise probably is going to be helpful for them, you know, that's what they need, but it's so not their language and so not what they're used to. You got to build a bridge somehow and, but build a bridge from like their old way of knowing how to do things to this new way. It's going to have to have like, um, some common language, but shifting the paradigm to like, let's get feedback versus, you know, you don't actually need a plan because you're really good at flying plans. It's not worked for you yet. So let's try something else. Just hang with me here. So I hope that was helpful. And I know Caroline probably will be around today or tomorrow giving you some other awesome, her question yesterday was so awesome. Good conversation. I'm going to swing back around to that later today too. So thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.